In this video, I'm gonna compare how long it takes to charge the iPad using the 10 watt power brick as well as the 12 watt power brick. Because as you know, both of them have been included in the, the iPad box. The 10 watts have been part of it like earlier and then they got replaced by the 12 watt one. So I'm gonna compare the difference and see whether it actually makes sense to upgrade to the 12 watt power brick in case you have uh, the smaller one or what's the actual difference. I'm gonna start with the 10 watt charger and as I set everything up, let me explain the rules. So of course we have the very same iPad, the very same cable, the very same everything. The conditions are exactly the same, only the power brick is different. So the iPad is fully discharged, it's like turn off and you cannot turn it on. Now I will put a stopwatch next to it and once I plug the iPad in, then I'm gonna start measuring the time and then we're gonna have a couple of check marks or checkpoints, whatever you wanna call it. And we are gonna be comparing the times at each checkpoint. So the first one is gonna be when the Apple logo pops up, then at 10%, 20, 50, 70 and 80. And we're just gonna compare the results and see what actually happens. So as you can see, we use the 10 watt as the first. So for the first test, the 10 watt charging brake is used. And as you can see, the Apple logo pops up at around one minute and 22 seconds. I of course charged this iPad using one brake fully and then went on to the second power brake. But in order to make this video flow better, I'm gonna edit it this way. So I'm gonna compare the 10 watt and 12 watt right next to each other. So the 12 watt charger brick got to the Apple logo in the first second. I mean, it's weird, it's ridiculous. I don't know what happened, but as you can see, we just got to it right off the bat. But then after a couple of seconds, the iPad turned off by itself. Perhaps it was a bug or something. I'm not sure what's really going on. Then the second time when the Apple logo popped up, it took the iPad three minutes and 10 seconds. So kind of weird actually, right? Okay, by the way guys, if you are new on this channel, in case you don't want to miss the next uploads and the next videos that are going to be useful for you in the future, what you have to do is to make sure you are subscribed to this channel. And you can also support this video with your thumbs up if you like it. Now let's continue with the next checkpoint. The next one is of course 10%. And the 10 watt charging break got the iPad charged to 10% in 18 minutes and 21 seconds. Not sure if this is a good time, but compared to the 12 watt performance, you can see that the same iPad got there in 23 minutes and 38 seconds. So quite a difference, right? Especially when the more powerful quote unquote charging break is slower by, by like five minutes, then it's actually kind of weird. I also did not mention that the iPad I'm using for this test is the iPad mini 4. Not that it matters that much, we are taking a look at the charging performance, but I thought that it may be interesting to know, I guess. And this one has been shipped with a 10 watt power brick. Perhaps it's tweaked a little bit better just so it works better with this one, even though it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but yeah, let's continue with the 20%. So the 10 watt power brick made the 20% checkpoint in 36 minutes and 44 seconds, which I don't know, it seems like to, it seems a lot, especially when you compare it to like iPhone's performance, but compared to the more powerful 12 watt power brick, it was 42 minutes and 51 seconds. So like a six minutes difference, it's not anything huge, but at a 20% Point, it's kind of a lot. Then let's move on to the half of the battery to the 50%. And the smaller brake of 10 watt got there in one hour and 32 minutes, 53 seconds. Whereas the faster power brake, which should be at least faster, got to the same percentage point at one hour, 52 minutes and 30 seconds. Now the difference is actually huge, it's 20 minutes. So I'm not sure what how to feel about it. Like 
you you buy a more powerful power break and you actually lose 20 minutes on the 50% mark. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong or what's why the result is as it is, but you can see it right there. Okay, the 70% mark. I'm not sure why 70 these numbers are just kind of random, I guess, but yeah, you have to have like like the same number so you can compare it. So 70% Using the smaller 10 watt power brake, it took the iPad 2 hours, 15 minutes, and 26 seconds, whereas the 12 watt power brake got there at 2 hours, 37 minutes, and 43 seconds. So the difference is just getting bigger. Not by a huge amount, but you can see that the difference is now about 22 minutes. So it's kind of weird, like I say all the time throughout this video. Okay, the last percentage point is 80%. And this quote-unquote slower or less powerful power brake got there in 2 hours, 38 minutes, 54 seconds. And the 12 watt crossed the 3 hour mark, which means that it got there in 3 hours, 6 minutes and 19 seconds. So again, a little bit bigger of a difference, which I do not like at all. I'm not sure how long it would take for the iPad to charge to 100%, but as you know, the, the bigger the number and the percentage is, the, the slower it actually goes, generally speaking. So it would take like 4 hours, I believe, for us to get the 200%, because that is really a lot. So I didn't really compare it all the way to the 100%, because I think that we already do have the result and the winner of this challenge at least in this specific example. I'm really curious what you have to say about it, whether you use your iPad with 12 or 10 watt charger, and would you ever try to change it? I mean, based on the results, I wouldn't really wanna upgrade to the 12 watt one, apparently, because it doesn't really make anything difference. In fact, it makes it a lot slower at the end. So I'm not really sure why the result is, as you can see in this video. So the one thing that I know is that I'm really grateful that you have watched this video all the way to the end. I really do appreciate your support. We are getting close to 100,000 subscribers, which is incredible, of course. So if you're still not one of them, what you can do is simply become part and member of our community. So make sure to subscribe and yeah, you just see, we see each other in the next video. So again, thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.